Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, I'll share my experience of using this Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra and I'll also do the camera review because I've been using it for the past two weeks and I did a family trip last week, so traveled quite a bit. For example, drove down from here to Pune, then Mahabaleshwar and back almost about 1600 kilometers. And I took a lot of sample shots with this one in real life conditions. So would like to share those uh, in the camera review. Again, uh, there'll be a lot of samples in the later part of the video, but initially Actually, I wanted to talk about uh, some of the experience that I had with this smartphone so I'll start with that and I'll also answer some of the questions that you guys posted about this smartphone uh, on Twitter so I'll, so the first thing that I actually liked with this uh, smartphone is the screen guys and we know Samsung uh, gives us actually very good screens that's the same case even with this one what I really liked with this uh, smartphone is that yes it can go very bright about 1500 nits so even when the Sun was uh, shining on this in the midday uh, the screen is actually visible so that's good but another thing that many reviewers forget about is how low the screen can go when it's almost pitch dark because many smartphones cannot go very low and it starts to hurt your eyes this was not the case with this one it can go very low at night so it does not hurt you so the uh, quality of the screen that we get is amazing and again guys uh, this is that 120 hertz and this is quad hd and even in that quad hd in fact it can actually go up to 120 hertz i was mostly using it with that 120 hertz and uh, we also have this always on and uh, guys i've been using it with this always on mode on, uh, only and the battery life uh, stats that i'll show is included with this maybe if you disable this maybe you'll get about 30 minutes extra sot and the fingerprint scanner has improved some of you have asked me and and it has improved quite a bit on this one now moving to 5g bands again samsung calls it a 5g phone even in the name the 5g is prominent and many of you have asked me what are the actual 5g bands supported on the indian variant that is the exynos 2100 and i didn't have that answer so i actually wrote to samsung india and i got an answer and as you can see from the screenshot it does support almost all the 5g bands that you need so again you don't have to be worried whenever 5g comes to india this is capable of getting that 5g signal so uh, again, I have, don't have to worry about 5G on the smartphone. Uh, now moving to the processor, it's the Exynos 2100 on this one. And in day-to-day -day usage, guys, um, uh, while using the phone, I never had an issue. I even played a little bit of Call of Duty on this and it was a very good experience. So in day-to-day -day usage, I did not have an issue with the uh, processor. In fact, I would say this is much more optimized than earlier Exynos SOCs. Uh, that's because of the battery life. I was getting anywhere, guys, this is real-world usage, anywhere about five and a half to about six and a half hours of screen on time at, at end of the day around 11 o'clock or 11 30 when i go to sleep always had about 30 to 35 percent battery life left on this one so yes it's not a two-day battery life phone but again the battery life is good enough that i don't have to actually worry about it and again it uh, has all the wireless charging and all those things and it supports charges up to 25 watts and now moving to another thing is Regarding the network reception, uh, and still I have both my SIMs on this, that's the Airtel and as well as the Geo uh, on this one. And I did not have any issues with the network reception. The network reception was very good, even when I was traveling, etc. Uh, didn't have an issue with network reception. Network reception is good, earpiece quality is really good on this one. Uh, and it also works with the voice over Wi-Fi on both I tested. This is one thing that is very interesting on this phone. In fact, voice over, wi that's called Wi-Fi calling. It works with Airtel and Geo I feel. Uh, and here you can select, let's say my SIM 2 is actually Geo. I don't want uh, voice, uh, uh, what do you can, uh, voice over Wi-Fi, you can disable it individually. So this is a nice thing, but it works very well on the smartphone. Uh, next thing is regarding the UI, this comes with the new One UI 3 and it's very, very fluid. But one thing that I really like is, if you go towards the left, now you can have this Google Pane. This I used to always miss on Samsung smartphone, finally it's there. If you want to go to back that Samsung stuff, you can actually go and enable it. But nice to see uh, you have the Google Pane on this one. And it was a very fluid experience. Again, the specs are really good. 12 gigabytes of RAM. Even in terms of RAM management, I actually never had a problem of RAM management using multiple apps, GPS, etc. Never had an issue of that. So that way, I would say they have done the optimization very well on this smartphone. But now let's talk about the camera on this one because I feel that's the main point of this smartphone. And if you look at the back, you have this quad camera setup. Uh, this fifth one is actually a laser uh, uh, sensor it aids in video and for uh, fast focusing and that works also very well but the main camera is that 108 megapixel that we have on this one uh, then we also have two 
actually telephoto zoom uh, generally on most smartphones we have just one zoom here we have two one is actually 3x zoom and other is actually 10x zoom and using this hybrid zoom they can go up to about 100 x and we also have that ultra wide on this one so the camera is very versatile in fact the front facing camera is also a 40 megapixel and i was not expecting that much with the front facing camera but i was pleasantly surprised uh, let me actually show you the camera interface first and then i'll actually show you the sample shots with this one and again as you can see over here we have the quad modes uh, regular camera wide angle zoom this is the wide angle here we can go zoom 3x zoom and 10x zoom then we have all these other modes like 30 40 uh, you can just move around between these one i would say up to 30 you can get very good shots on this uh, but uh, let's also talk about another thing if you uh, go over here the aspect ratio you can obviously change uh, we also have a mode of 108 megapixel on this you can natively it uh, actually uh, pixel bends because uh, you don't need to shoot 108 uh, every time but i actually shot some samples with 108 megapixel on this one let me just go to the gallery and show you some of the shots that I shot with the 108 megapixel and also regular to give you an idea the difference and I was not expecting that much but there is a noticeable difference with that 108 megapixel shots let me actually show you let me just select that sample so here are two uh, samples that I took let me just go this orientation to give you an idea actually this is that regular pixel bin and this is that 108 megapixel and uh, by default it will be the pixel bin and just notice this shot looks actually good guys uh, but when I zoom in this is again a regular one not that 108 you notice this tree when I zoom in it's slightly on the pixelated size uh, so it's pretty far but I shot the same sample now this is that 108 megapixel one and now even if we zoom in notice how sharp the detail is and you can actually click this and you get a sample shot so that way i felt that the 108 megapixel uh, makes a lot of sense if you are going to zoom in a lot and i noted this quite a bit on some shots that i took uh, so that really works on uh, this one for example i feel yeah this one also was that 108 megapixel and if you notice this is the regular shot but when i zoom in just notice the detail over here how much more detail we have when i zoom out as you can see so uh, definitely that 108 megapixel did make quite a bit of a difference also this uh, can shoot in 8k and you might say why do we shoot in 8k let's say there is some very important event that you need to shoot maybe kids birthday they'll keep running around and whatever uh, the advantage was that shot in 8k and what we can do is now i can actually let's have to play this first actually i can let's say i like the shot i can pause this shot let i feel let's get ah this looks nice and i can pause this and hit this and this it has extracted this image from that 8k video so as the resolution is so high you can extract static pictures from that 8k videos and as you saw this is also really good so again yes uh, you can shoot in that 108 megapixel and 8k it does make sense in certain scenarios for example we also have this director's view over here and uh, you can enable this uh, what do you say front facing you can disable it if you want and but if you notice this it also gives you three previews here these are actual previews from the different lenses of camera this is that wide angle this was the regular and this is the zoom in thing and this makes a real difference when you are actually shooting a video uh, for example here are some of the videos that i shot in this director view so that you have a better idea guys uh, in Pune, and i'm using the director's view and you can enable the front facing camera also uh, but the good thing is from the rear facing i can just switch like this to the wide angle this or the zoom as you can see so this is actually nice for people like us who are vlogging and stuff you can just look like this uh, zoom into an area you actually have a preview so I feel this is a nice addition and I'm noticing no lag or anything the processor is able to handle this stuff so this is a sample with that director's view this is another sample that I shot with the director's view when I was in Mahapaleshwar. And again, I feel this is a very versatile option. You can change the, uh, what do you say, focal length and uh, get uh, what you want. And now let me actually show you the sample uh, static shots that I shot with this S21 Ultra. This was taken in Mahabaleshwar. This is the portrait mode and another pick as you notice they come out really good and we can also zoom in in the portrait uh, mode. Uh, this was a sample shot with family 
and uh, this was that wide angle uh, shot even the front facing camera was actually pretty good as you can see it can fit a lot of people and uh, again this is a regular shot and uh, here i enabled the portrait mode in the front facing camera in fact, I have to say, I was impressed with the front-facing camera quality. Just notice this shot, the dynamic range with the front-facing camera. It's just amazing. Now, moving to some shots in the night condition, as you can see, this was at the night. And here I also took some selfies and I was surprised with the performance. Just notice how low the light was. Then also I got these selfies. And these were taken with the rear-facing camera. It automatically moves to the ultra night mode and actually it works very well. Uh, this was actually a regular shot short and I just move to the ultra wide and see how much it can capture with the ultra wide mode. This was taken at night in Pune, just uh, casual shots that I was taking. And again, notice how well uh, the pictures came even in uh, night. Now, this was in uh, Mahabaleshwar uh, and I took some casual snaps. And I have to say, the snaps that I got here were incredible. Just notice how good they are. I also actually played a little bit uh, with the zoom. This was that uh, regular shot. And here I used that uh, 3x zoom. And here I recall I used about 10x zoom. Uh, one more uh, sample, regular shot. Uh, this was that 3x zoom and uh, this was actually that 10x uh, zoom. Another sample, a regular shot that is 1x. This is that 3x and here I went to about 10x I think so. And uh, this was with that 30x. It can go up to about 100x. Another sample, notice that monkey hardly visible here. Here I zoomed it now for 3x and here I zoomed into 10x, it's much better defined. And if I recall, this was at 30x. So with that zoom, you can get some really good shots at time. This was the regular shot, but I like the fact that ultra wides also come out really good with this smartphone. This is my wife. Uh, let's try the zoom, okay, not bad. 3x zoom and that's 10x zoom. So yeah, it works even in video, as you can see. Let me just go back to 1x now. So this is 1x and uh, this is actually ultra wide. Guys, now I've enabled the super steady mode and uh, shooting in uh, 4K. Looks actually pretty stable as you can see I'm walking. So you have the super steady mode option. And I think so this is ideal when you're moving around and taking the shot. Let me do one thing. Let me switch it off and see how it does. Shut off that st super study. But still I would say it's doing a pretty good job. Uh, because uh, it's actually having a OIS. Recording this uh, with the Ultra. And as you can see, uh, we are at Mah Mahabaleshwar. It's night. And uh, that's Vivek. Say hi. Uh, Sheetal. And uh, that's Seema, my hi. wife's sister. And of course, that's my wife. And just want to test, uh, this is at night. Uh, yes, I see an improvement even at night. So nice to see they're doing that. And I still like that you can jump to the ultra wide. Ultra wide, yes, it's dark, but regular, as you can see, it's doing a pretty good job. So guys, I'm shooting with the front facing camera and I'm in Trakin's office in Pune. I came here to meet him and we did one more video, you see. So just shooting this sample with the front facing camera to give you an idea, what do you think? Looks no, nice. nice. It looks very nice. As the, the skin this... tone, skin tone, if you Actually, see, I really, really uh, like it on this one. So, by it, uh, you guys let, let us know what do you feel about the same. So, guys, uh, that was the camera review of this Galaxy S21 Ultra. And I have to say, the camera performance is amazing on this one. I never appreciated this higher zooms, but because I was on that holiday, you simply cannot go closer to some subjects or if it's scenery. And there, the zoom really helped. That 3x and 10x has so much clarity. Even you can go to 30x. That really makes a difference. And I really started to appreciate it. And in fact, in our family, this was the smartphone that was just revolving. Everybody took snaps with this one. So I had to share a lot of snaps. And I was pleasantly surprised with the front facing camera that is that 40 megapixel uh, front facing camera i didn't uh, have that much high hopes with that but again i have to say the front facing camera samples as you saw were also very good in this one even the dynamic range which is very poor with the front facing camera is done excellent on this one so i have to say uh, this is the best uh, camera centric smartphone that i have used and certainly the best camera smartphone that samsung has produced uh, so guys uh, that was my review of this uh, camera review of the samsung galaxy s S21 Ultra 5G, again a very long name. But what do you guys think about the same? Uh, uh, do let me know in the comment section. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, still using this smartphone. Maybe I'll use it uh, still for a week or two because just about two days ago, I got one more new OTA update. 
and maybe then I might produce the what you say full review of the pros and cons but certainly a very good Android smartphone I would say and if you have that budget you can go with this one because one of my close friend also purchased a retail unit uh, he got it on 27 and I just asked him before making this video and he is also very happy with this smartphone anyways guys that's it for now thanks for watching this is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video take care guys